This video covers setup and operation of the fully automatic vector pump in manual mode. Be sure to complete all pump physical inspection and setup instructions as described in the previous video prior to configuring the pump for a specific job. If using a stealth model tool, check to make sure the tool is stamped with TA to indicate compatibility with the vector pump. Job setup starts with entering tool information. All setup is entered using the handheld remote control with LCD screen, three front buttons, and a single green trigger button on the back. Starting with the System Ready screen, push the right button to enter the Mode screen. On the Mode screen, use the left or right button to highlight Manual. Push the green trigger button to select and display the Tool Selection screen. Scroll through preloaded wrench options and push the green button to select the model being used for this application. On the Tool Type screen, select the size tool being used. On the Set Torque screen, set the target torque by using the left and right buttons to increase and decrease the torque value and the green button to select. Once the job setup is complete, test the vector pump and torque tools prior to operation. Verify all tools are connected to the pump. Prior to starting the test, place all tools on the floor. Check that the tools can rotate freely during the test to ensure proper calibration. Press and hold the green button to start the pump motor, applying pressure while checking the pump and tools for leaks. Continue to press the green button and check for leaks during the entire test. Release the trigger when the test is 100% complete. The pump motor will automatically stop after 20 seconds or push one of the front buttons and the pump motor will stop right away. Once the vector pump job setup and testing is complete, place the tools onto the bolts. Once all of the tools have been placed on the bolts, press and release the green trigger button to cycle the pump. The pump motor will automatically turn on and apply pressure to the tools and tighten the bolts. Release the green button and press again. Continue to cycle the pump until the tool stops turning. Once the tool no longer turns, the LCD screen will display the final torque value. This completes the manual bolting operation with a vector pump.